much. Asanteni sana. Let us open to the book of Matthew chapter 2. Tufungue tukifungue kitabu cha Mathayo mlango wa pili. Matthew chapter 2. Mathayo mlango wa pili. Starting from verse 1. Kuanzia kwa mstari wake mstari wa kwanza. Matthew chapter 2 starting from verse 1. Mathayo mlango wa pili kuanzia kwa mstari wa kwanza. Chapter 2 verse 1. Mathayo mlango wa pili mstari wa kwanza. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king and be Herod the king, behold, the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, oh, Where is he who has been born king of Jews? And for we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes and the people together, he inquired, of them where the Christ was to be born. And so they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, and for thus it is written by prophet, and but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Jude, uh, Judah, uh, are not at the least among uh, the rulers of Judah. And for out of you uh, shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appear. And he sent them unto Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back words for me, and that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, and they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, and they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell, on him, fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, and they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And then, being divinely warned in a dream, and that they should not return to Herod. They departed for their own country another way. I read up to verse 12. Uh, when I look at the life uh, that I am living right now, uh, truly, uh, this is a life uh, that I have uh, never expected before. I have uh, never imagined and that uh, I will live uh, such a life like this. I didn't think that I could live even this life. Ever since uh, I was in around, uh, I think when I was in high school, uh, you know, I was in America. <coughs> I had a dream of uh, just becoming a soldier. And I didn't really care about my life. Some friends, uh, they would tell me, Hey, why are you doing these bad things? I remember myself often telling them, I don't care, you know, my life is already ruined. Hey, why are you trying to join the army? What if you die over there? You know, my life is already messed up. Who cares? Actually, I didn't have any hope in my life. So I just wanted to join the army. Go to war. And uh, I mean, if I die, then I'll die. I didn't have any hope inside of my heart. I wasn't interested in the word of God at all. I was always just dozing and sleeping during the service time. 
nikapata pia kulala wakati wa ibada. I wasn't interested in the word of God at all. Sikuwa na shughuli na neno la Mungu hata kidogo. My father was a pastor. Babangu alikuwa mchungaji. So the brothers and sisters at time to time they come to me and ask. Na ndugu na wadada kila wakati walikuwa wananijia na kuniuliza. What is your dream? Eh Johan ndoto yako ni gani? Your father is a pastor, right? Babako ni mchungaji, sivyo? So you should also be a pastor like your father is not. Wewe pia una style kwa mchungaji kama babako, sivyo? I hate it to hear that. Anakuwa anachukia kusikia hilo neno. In my heart, I couldn't say it. In my heart, I will tell those brothers and sisters. Hey, why don't you be a pastor and why are you telling me about be a pastor? And so I never wanted to be a pastor too. Just wanted to live my own life. Uh, if I die, okay, forget it. Actually, I didn't have any hope inside of my life. And now time passed on. As I was now going to university uh, in our church, uh, there was an organization that was made called International Youth Fellowship. Uh, it's an international uh, youth organization to develop the young people. I joined IYF and as I was continuously receiving the training, without even noticing, I saw myself uh, changing little by little. From then on, I began to receive the guidance. I was led and I began to receive the guidance. If I graduate from high school, in my heart, my life was already set. I'm joining the U.S. military. And at that time, the servant of God from Korea, he called me. Hey, you should go to a university, right? No, I want to join the military. No, at least you should first join the university. Actually, with my heart, the, the word of the servant of God that didn't match at all. Because another one thing that I hated the most was to join the university. You know, we also have high school called Mahanam International High School. And our students, they really don't want to study. They're always thinking about how would I not study? But I don't blame them at all. Because I was like that too. And the study is not everything, right? Yes. So I don't really interfere with them for that, but actually I really didn't want to join university. One thing that I hated the most in the whole world was to study. In fact, even today, I don't understand why people study. Yes, I think all they need is a Bible study. Other than that, anyways, <laughs> so, in my heart, the word of the servant of God that didn't really match with my heart. I really can't study. I don't want to study. Why is that servant of God telling me to do this? I didn't want to do it at all. It didn't match with my heart. But, but, it is the servant of God who is telling me to join the university. What can I do? What am I supposed to do? So, I obeyed his word and I tried to apply. When I tried to apply, he called me again and then he told me, oh, you joined this certain university. Actually, with my uh, grades, uh, 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 
I wasn't in the position to be able to join that university. But he was keep on telling me to join the university. So I couldn't overcome the word of the servant of God. So I thought, Okay, let me apply. And then if I get rejected, I'll show him. Look, I told you, I'm not good enough to join this university. So for that purpose, I applied. Surprisingly enough, I saw myself in the university. Now I graduated from the university. I called a servant of God. Servant of God, I graduated from the university. What am I supposed to do? Come to Korea. I didn't want to go to Korea. I lived in the U.S. all of my childhood. I, I rather, you know, uh, live in America. America. But then he told me to come uh, to Korea. So what am I supposed to do? So I joined, I went back to Korea. So I came back to Korea, what am I supposed to do? The servant of God, he told me, join Korean army. Why would I join Korean army? Then I'd rather go and join a U.S. army. US Army, you know, they have good benefits. They pay you well. You can also travel the world. You can also meet with diverse and many other people. But what am I supposed to do? The servant of God told me to join the army in Korea. So I joined. I got discharged. But should I do next? He told me to join the theology school. I joined the theology school. Though it didn't match with my heart. I couldn't understand in my heart. Two years later, one day he told me, Johan, do you like Africa? <laughs> you know, by that time, I visited Ghana and Kenya. Many people, the volunteers, you know, they will say, you know, I love Ghana. I love Kenya. You know, Africa is my second home. So I was deceived by that. And so I came with a big expectations. And then I visited Ghana and Kenya. Ghana was so hot. All I remember in Ghana is just being hot. Kenya, Kenya, all I remember is we were sleeping in, in the construction site. Do you remember the first youth camp here in Kenya? Yes, this building was finished only up to a ground floor. So they put the cement for the ceiling on the ground floor. And then the first floor was not finished. So they put uh, you know, the building big, huge, black, plastic paper on top and made a temporary roof. And then everything, the whole surrounding, even the floor, it was not uh, even, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it was not plastered. So the wall was just a rough wall. The floor was a rough was a floor. There we just put a mattress and sleep there. Yes, that's all I remember. <laughs> so on that day, Pastor Parky asked me, Johan, do you like Africa? Uh, no, I don't like Africa. Oh yeah, I remember one more thing. I 
kuja tena after the youth camp in Kenya baada ya kambi ya vijana hapa Kenya that time pastor Kim Jehong was here ah wakati huo mchungaji Kim Jehong alikuwa hapa he sent us like two days for like a witnessing trip to the branch church akatutuma kama safari ya siku mbili kwenda kushuhudia katika makanisa ya matawi that time i went to nyeri church na wakati huo nikaenda katika kanisa la nyeri yes and there was pastor Kim Hani there na hapo kulikuwa na mchungaji Kimani and before i left na kabla nitoke I offered some money in the offering box. Nilitoa sadaka fulani katika sanduku ya sadaka. I don't know whether Pastor Kimani remembers that or not. Asijui kama mchungaji Kimani anakumbuka hivyo ama la. If he remembers that I think he has to buy me banana or mango but until today he didn't buy me anything. Ai kiwa anakumbuka hivyo ana style kununulia ndizi ama maembe lakini hata leo haja nununulia. And so anyways uh, I visited branch church also that time. Hata hivyo wakati huo nikazuru makanisa ya matawi. And so I told Pastor Park. Kwa hivyo nikamwambia mchungaji Park. Pastor Park. Ai mchungaji Park. I don't like Africa. Ah sipendi bara la Africa. People they say they like Africa. Watu wanasema kuwa wanapenda bara la Africa. I went and I couldn't find anything and that is good about Africa. Lakini nilienda na nikakosa kitu chochote kizuri kuhusu Africa. And then all of a sudden na ghafla is it oh really? Akanembea ah ni hivyo? Hey the pastors we have discussed to send you to Kenya as a missionary. Na kama wachungaji tumejadiliana uh, tukasema tukutume kama mchungaji katika bara la uh, bara inchi ya Kenya kama And now the whole story is different, right? Na sasa hadithi yote ni tofauti hivyo. Nini? Right now I'm a theology student. Sasa hivi ni mwanafunzi wa theolojia. You are saying you are going to make me into a pastor? Lakini mnasema mnataka kunifanya niwe mchungaji. You are going to make me into a missionary? Mnataka kunifanya niwe missionary? That is so great. Ah hiyo ni kitu kikuu. Because I thought I can never graduate, right? Sababu nilifikiria kuwa siwezi kufuzu. So just for the fact that I can come out of theology school I was so happy. Ah na ile hali ya kuwa naweza nikatoka katika chuo cha theolojia nilikuwa nimefurahishwa. I changed my words. Na kwanza wakati huo nikabadili maneno yangu. Mchungaji. I love Africa. Napenda bara la Afrika. I love Kenya. Naipenda inchi ya Kenya. Oh really? Hakika. Uh, okay, then you go to Kenya. Basi enda katika inchi ya Kenya. When should I go? Basi niende lini? Go tomorrow. Enda kesho. Tomorrow? Kesho. So I look for a ticket. Kwa hivyo nikatafuta nauli. And tomorrow airplane ticket and the day after tomorrow there is a difference of 70,000 Kenya shilling. Na uh, kesho siku baada ya kesho nauli naongezeka na zaidi ya shilingi 1070. And so the pastor he told me then go today after tomorrow. Basi mchungaji akaniambia enda siku baada ya kesho. So I packed and I came to Kenya right away. Kwa hivyo nikapanga mambo yangu na nikaja katika nchi ya Kenya mara moja. After coming to Kenya. Na pia baada ya kuja katika nchi ya Kenya. So I didn't do anything special. Asikufanya chochote maalum. I just lived and did according to what Pastor has told me to do. Niliweza tu kuishi na kufanya jinsi ambavyo nilivyoambiwa na mchungaji. And now it's already been 10 years since I lived in Kenya. Na sasa ni miaka kumi tangu niishi hapa Kenya. Now when I look back, na sasa ninapotafakari nyuma, staying in Kenya for 10 years. Akukaa nje Kenya katika miaka kumi. Truly there's nothing much that I have done. Hakika kuna kitu chochote kubwa nilichofanya. But I felt like for the last 10 years the servant of God was holding onto my hand. Lakini kahisi kuwa kwa miaka kumi mchungaji alikuwa ananishikilia mkono. And she was leading my life step by step na akawa naongoza maisha yangu hatua baada ya hatua everyone i'm not a such a person who can live such a life kila mmoja wenu mimi si mtu ambaye naweza nikaishi maisha kama hayo and i am not a person who is worth to even stand before you to even speak to you na pia si mtu ambaye na style kusimama mbele zenu na hata kuwanenea if i'm in kenya church ikiwa niko katika kanisa la kenya maybe you know i i will, I will be honored if i can do a ushering na nitakuwa nimeheshimiwa uh, nikiwa nitapewa uh, nafasi ya kupokea uh, watu if i'm in kenya church ikiwa niko katika kanisa la kenya I I'm a person who be so honored if I clean the toilets here. And takwa mtu ambaye nimeheshimiwa ikiwa nitapewa nafasi ya kufagia vyo ya hapa. I'm a such a person. Na mimi ni mtu ambaye I'll be honored. Ambaye nitapokea heshima. If I can clean and pass this car. Ikiwa nitapanguza gari ya mchungaji. But lakini such a person. Lakini mtu kama huyo. He put me on the podium. Ameniweka katika 
to share the word of God to share the heart of God together with so many brothers and sisters who are sitting here no when I was in high school you know, this is something that I could not even imagine when I was in a university this is not something that I could even imagine when I was in theology school this is something that I cannot even imagine last one whole week um, you know I did the recording at GBS you know, recording the sermon from the book of Matthew as I was going up GBS in my heart I was so burdened <laughs> oh, what am I supposed to say you know it's not only one recording it's not only two recordings I have to record 50, 60, 70 even 100 sermons of each sermon being 30 minutes what am I supposed to say so although the cameras are prepared even the audience is prepared I delayed I stay in the control room what am I supposed to talk about but I cannot just wave, uh, make them wait for me the whole day so I enter I open the Bible I read a scripture and when I start talking I was able to feel how God is giving me his word in my lips after recording the few sermons as I come down my heart was filled with word my heart was filled with joy happiness and thankfulness I was so excited in my heart. The next day comes for the recording. Again, as I climb up to GBS, oh, what am I supposed to talk about? But once again, when I open the Bible, I can feel that God is giving His word in my lips. By the time that I come down on GBS, my heart is filled with joy, happiness, and thankfulness. Our brothers and sisters, what are you doing here seated without preaching on GBS? Is there anyone who is so sad? Is there anyone who is difficult and disturbed because of the problem? I'll give you free air time. You come to me, I'll give you a chance to preach on GBS. No, that studio has a magic. You go there, God will speak to you. God will move your lips. And by the time you come down, you are filled with joy, happiness, and thankfulness inside of your heart. I am thinking to myself, who am I? What am I? How can I preach on TV? How can, you know, such sermon of a, such a person like me be aired on TV and people listen to it. Everyone, I am living a life which I cannot even imagine. You know, I am dirty, evil, and a wicked person. I was even a criminal. And put behind bars. And a crash a car. Only cause trouble, trouble, trouble. Makosa, makosa, makosa. I was only a big troublemaker. How am I? Such a person as I. Being standing on this podium and speaking about the word of God. Remember when I look at myself. That's a nonsense. I'm just as good as. 
Mimi ni, ni, ni sawa na a person a mtu who can maybe just clean the street outside. Ambaye anastahili tu kufagia nje huko. I'm just a person who is a, just good if I can only clean the church toilets. A mimi ni mtu ambaye nafaa tu kuosha vyo vya kanisa. But lakini he placed me on the podium. Ameniweka katika jukua. Giving me this opportunity to speak the word of God. Akinipa hii fursa ni nene neno la Mungu. In the morning I am thinking. Wakati wa asubuhi nikawa nafikiria. How am I Am I able to live this life? Ni mimi nawezaje kuishi maisha kama hii? Wow, this is a nonsense. Ah, hii ni upuzi. How did God live my life in this way? Ah, inakuaje Mungu ameongoza maisha yangu hivi? When I look back, napotafakari nyuma. It's not that I didn't start, it's not that I studied well. Si ati nilisoma vizuri. It's not that I lived for God diligently. Si ati niliishia Mungu kwa juhudi. It's not that I have done something diligently. Si ati nimetenda kitu katika njia ya juu. All I have done, kile nilichofanya to follow the word of the servant of God. Ni kufuata tu neno la mtumishi wa Mungu. Hey, Johann go to university. Eh, hey, Johann aenda katika chuo kikuu. It didn't match with my heart. Haikuambatana na moyo wangu. But I received that word and just joined. Lakini kapokea ile neno na nikajiunga. Come to Korea. I didn't want to go to Korea. Njo Korea na sikutaka kwenda huko. Just received the word of the servant of God and went to Korea. Ni kapokea neno la mtumishi wa Mungu na nikaenda katika nchi ya Korea. Ingia katika jeshi la Korea. I rather joined the military in America. Ningefaa niingie katika jeshi la America. But although I don't understand I received the word away this and joined the army. Lakini japo sielewi nilipokea hilo neno jinsi nilivyo na kajiunga na army na theolojia pia. You know one of the thing that I hate the most in the world is to become a pastor. Lakini kitu nilichochukia zaidi ulimwenguni ni kuwa mchungaji. But I just received the word of the servant of God. Lakini nilipokea tu neno la mtumishi wa Mungu. And joined the theology school. Na nikajiunga na chuo cha theolojia. Go to Africa Kenya. Naenda katika bara la Afrika nchi ya Kenya. I like Africa. Africa. I don't like Kenya. Sipendi nchi ya Kenya. But he sent me. Lakini ananiambia. So I came. Kwa hivyo nikaja. It's been now 10 years. Na sasa hivi imepita miaka 10. Now kumi. I am living a life of which I cannot even imagine before. Na sasa naishi maisha ambayo singeweza kufikiria hapo awali. Everyone all I did. Akila moja wenu kile nilichofanya. Was to receive the guidance and the word of the servant of God in my heart the way it is. Nikupokea mwongozo na neno la mtumishi wa Mungu jinsi ilivyo. Why? Kwa sababu gani? I know one thing for sure. Na fahamu kitu kimoja kwa hakika. The word of the servant of God. Neno la mtumishi wa Mungu. It's not a word of a human being. Si neno la mwanadamu. It's a word of God. Ni neno la Mungu. Through the servant of God. Kupitia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. One thing I know for sure. Kitu ninachofahamu kwa hakika. The servant of God is better than me. Ah mtumishi wa Mungu ni bora kuniliko. Mtumishi wa Mungu anafahamu zaidi ya mimi. She knows more than me. Na kanisa inajua zaidi yangu mimi. She knows more than me. Mungu anajua zaidi yangu mimi. The servant of God he can lead my life a better than I live my life. Mtumishi wa Mungu anaweza kuongoza maisha yangu ipasavyo zaidi ya jinsi nilivyoongoza. I did was to establish the servant of God in my heart. Kitu nilichofanya ni kudhibitisha mtumishi wa Mungu ndani ya moyo wangu. I the reverend of Park in my heart. Na kumsimamisha kasisi Oxford Park ndani ya moyo wangu. What about our brothers and Sisters. Do you establish the servant of God in your heart? Aren't you not following the word of the servant of God when it matches with your heart? And when it when his word doesn't match with your heart, you don't follow his word. Even although the word of the servant of God may not match with your heart, are you still able to throw away your thought and receive the word of the servant of God and follow according to his word. As we hold on to the book of Matthew chapter 2 let us open to the book of Isaiah chapter 55 Isaiah 55 Isaiah 55 starting from verse 6 Isaiah 55, starting from verse 6, I'll read only in English. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Everyone, please repeat after me. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, 
One more time. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. <laughs> Everyone, what is the Bible saying? <laughs> hey, your thoughts are not my thoughts. In other words, your thoughts and my thoughts, they are different. Don't think that they are the same. Your thoughts and my thoughts, they are different. Everyone, if they are different, whose thought is right and whose thought is wrong. In other words, God is telling us, hey, Hey, your thought is wrong. But, but as you listen to the word of the servant of God, then the word of God doesn't match with your heart. Although it is wrong, you receive that wrong thought inside of your heart. He says, Nor are your ways are my ways, says the Lord. Even our thoughts are wrong. What is right is only the word of the Lord. Only the, the word, word of God. Yes, our ways are wrong. And only the way of God is right. At the time when I was in high school, I couldn't understand. When I was in the university, I couldn't understand. When I went to Korea, I couldn't understand. I didn't understand. But when I received this word the way it is, now when I look back, I'm living the life of which I can't live before. I am a person who is just as good as just cleaning the toilet in the church. If I can only clean the toilet in the church, I'll be honored. If I can cut grass, then I'll be honored. I'm a such a person. But, but, when I follow the word of the servant of God, when I follow the word of God, though so that word did not match with my heart, but when I forsake my heart, and I follow that heart, I am living the life which I cannot live right now. Everyone today, we read in the book of Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2, this is a story where now the king and now uh, the wise men came and to give the gift uh, to the king of Judea so the wise men from the east they came um, uh, from um, the east following the star now when the guidance of the star had disappeared now they did not wait for the guidance of the star to come again they did not follow the guidance of the star again they did not wait for the guidance of the, uh, uh, the star again. They followed their own thoughts and their own ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. But this wise man, as the name goes, wise man, yes, they thought they are really wise. They thought that they are smart. Yes, they followed their own thoughts. They followed their own heart. Thinking that, ah, my thought must be true and it may be right. My ways must be true. My ways must be right. So instead of following the guidance, they followed their own thoughts and then went to King Herod. Yes, afterwards, now what is the end result of following their thoughts? When you look at verse 15, and it was there until the death of Herod, and that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, out of Egypt I called my son. Now, 
akisema kutoka Misri na limuita mwanangu. Sorry, I read the wrong verse. The first 13. Um, mstari wa 13. Now when they had departed to behold an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy them. Now the wise men they followed their wise thoughts. Now how mama juzi wakafuata busara yao. The wise men how mama juzi they followed their wise ways. Walifuata busara zao. Yes to them and they were so wise. Kwa wao walikuwa na busara. However what happened to their wise thoughts? Lakini kitu gani kilichofanyikia mawazo yao busara? What happened to their wise ways? Na kitu gani kilichofanyia kufanyikia njia zao za busara? Even if you have to follow your wise thoughts. Asiye atufuate mawazo yako ya busara. It's not that you have to follow your wise ways. What you have to follow is the guidance of the star. The guidance of God. The guidance of the word. The guidance of the church. The guidance of the servant of God. That's why God he has set the body of Jesus Christ the church upon this earth. That's why God he has set set the servant of God upon this earth so that we may establish the church and the servant of God in our heart to follow and receive the guidance Everyone, how do you decide upon your life how do you live your life do you live your life by your wise ways do you live your life by your wise, your life by your wise thoughts even yesterday in the morning i had fellowship with, with a young sister i called her And because I heard that she doesn't have a job. I called her. Sister. Hey, Dada. Why don't you live for the gospel? Oh no, pastor, I don't Apana want to. No, pa- oh, then what happened to your job? Yes, I am laid off. And because there were two receptionists. And so the company was a little bit difficult so you know one had to go so I was ra- laid off. Na kwa hivyo kampuni yetu ilikuwa na ugumu kwa hivyo nikatolewa. Nikamuuliza huyu dada. Yes, until now in the you, you led your life. Uliongoza maisha yako. By following your wise ways. Ukifuata njia zako za busara. By following your wise thought. Ukifuata njia mawazo yako ya busara. I know the sister very well. Namfahamu huyu dada vizuri. Because even in the year 2018. Kwa sababu katika mwaka 2018. I tried to guide her. Nilijaribu kumuongoza. And she left and she got a job. Aliwacha na kaenda kutafuta kazi. Now she is laid off. Na baada ya mwaka mmoja amewekwa kando. I asked her. Nikamuuliza. Did you save any money? Je, uliweka pesa no. yote ile? Hapana. Did you buy a car? Je, ulinunua no. gari? Hapana. Did you get a house? Je, ulinunua nyumba? No. La. So you you follow your own ways. Kwa hivyo ukafuata njia zako mwenyewe. Mawazo yako mwenyewe. And look back what do you have? Na unapotazama nyuma ni kitu gani ulicho nacho? She said nothing. Akasema hakuna. I asked her. Nikamuuliza. In the year 2009. Katika mwaka 2009. Why don't you throw away your wise thoughts? Mbona usitupilie mbali mawazo yako? Why don't you throw away your wise ways? Mbona usitupilie mbali njia zako za busara? And why don't you receive that guidance? Mbona usipokee mungozo? Of the star. Na nyota. Every which be prepared to me guidance of the star Everyone what about your life Anaje kuhusu maisha yenu Is your life also receiving the guidance of the star? Is your life being led by your wise thought and your wise ways? Everyone when you look in the Bible, <laughs> uh, now the wise men they follow their wise ways and their wise thought and end result is only the death of this little child. Every one thing that you need to be so clear in your life. Kila kitu kitu kimoja ambayo inastahili kuwa wazi mbele yako. Yes, so it may seem to be wise to your eyes. Ndio inaweza kuonekana kuwa ni ya busara macho ni pako. Yes, so your thought may seem to be wise to your eyes. 
Hata mawazo yako inawezaonekana ya busara macho ni pako. But what is above that is the guidance. Lakini kitu kilicho juu ya hayo ni muongozo. The guidance of the star. Ni muongozo wa nyota. Even I have my own wise thoughts about my life. Kila mmoja wenu kuwa na mawazo yangu ya busara kuhusu maisha yangu. Ever since I began to receive the guidance. Lakini tangu nilipoanza kupokea muongozo. I'm not a person who can stand here on this podium. Ah mimi ni si mtu ambaye anastahili kusimama katika hii jukwaa. I'll be honored and I'll be good enough if I can only clean these luba windows here. Nitafanywa kwa mwema na heshimiwa zaidi ikiwa nitapewa nafasi ya kuuza vyo. I'm a person who is just good enough if I can clean the toilets in the church. Mimi ni mtu ambaye nitakuwa nimeheshimiwa zaidi nikipewa nafasi ya kuuza vyo. If the church give me grace and if I can drive the church bus I'll be honored. Ikiwa nitapewa neema ya kutosha kuendesha basi ya kanisa basi nitakuwa nimeheshimiwa. If I can only cut the grass for the church then I'll be honored. Ikiwa nitapewa fursa ya kukata nyazi ya ua basi nitakuwa nimeheshimiwa. A person. Lakini mtu kama huyo. He plays me on this stage. Ameniweka katika huu jukwaa. This podium. Katika jukwaa huu. To speak the word of God. Ni nene neno la Mungu. Everyone, this is a nonsense. Hii ni upuzi. I have never imagined this kind of life. Sikuweza fikiria maisha kama haya. I couldn't imagine this life. Hata singeweza kufikiria. But when I live the life of receiving the guidance through the star. Na ninapoishi maisha ya kupokea mwongozo kutoka na nyota. The living the life of receiving the guidance of the servant of God. Nikiishi maisha ya kupokea mwongozo wa mtumishi wa Mungu. I am living the life that I have never lived before. Naishi maisha ambayo sikuweza kuishi hapo awali. Everyone why don't you also live that life? Mbona kila mmoja wenu msiweze kuishi maisha kama hayo? Mbona wise way? Mtupilie mbali njia zenu za busara. Mbona wise thoughts? Na mtupilie mbawazo yenu ya busara. Living the life of receiving the guidance of the star. Na muishi maisha ya kupokea mwongozo wa nyota. Everyone, then your life is no longer going to be the same. Basi maisha yako haitabakia jinsi ilivyo. I feel like you know when I talk to our Nairobi church brothers and sisters. Napo angeleisha unduku na wadada wa kanisa letu la Nairobi. I feel like I'm making an international phone call. Naka naka na kuamba na fanya na piga simu na kimataifa. Sometimes when I when when I talk on the phone with my family. Na mara nyingi napo angi na familia angu kusimu. Hello father, how are you? Hello baba, abari yako. Three seconds later. Um, a second later. One, two, three. I hear my own voice. Hello, Father. How are you? You, you. Naskia sauti yangu abari ya baba abari zenu. Why don't you live the life of receiving the guidance of the star? Mona musiishi maisha kupokea mungozo wanyota. One, two, three. Amen, man, 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 man. Hivo. It means that's how much right now your heart is very distant from listening to the word. Everyone is that right or not? Everyone, when that word comes inside of your heart, although I don't put my ear, Amen just comes. Amen in a talk in a jitokeza. Is that right? Yes, 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 yes. Ndio, 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 ndio. We are not in. We are not making international phone call right now, right? We're all in Kenya, Nairobi, Kasarani, in Good News Mission Church, right? Tuko apa Kenya, Nairobi, Kasarani, na kanisa. Everyone, are we all together? Yetu kopa moja. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Naelewa na chosa ma. Yes. Everyone, which life do you want to live? Maisha ya gani ambao unatakuishi? I still want to follow my wise ways. Nataka ni fuate njia zangu za busara inua mkono juu. I have my my wise ways, raise your hand. I won't follow, but I have it. And sita kufuata la kintari ni nazo. Then you will follow one day. Basi utaifuata siku moja. Yes. Everyone, you have to know one thing. Kila moja wenu mna sali kufahamu kitu kimoja. My wise ways. Anje zangu za busara. My wise thoughts. Ma mawazo yangu ya busara. Is only death. Ani mauti tu. Everyone, is that right? Jeni kweli. Everyone. Kila moja wenu. Actually, that's not. This is not the topic that I was going to talk about today. Ah, si si madamba nipanga ni nene kusu siku ya leo. Let's come back to Matthew chapter two. Tururi katika kitabu cha Matayo mlangu apili. Verse two. Namstari wapili. Saying, saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this. He was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Everyone, let's read verse three all together. Are you ready? 
let's not make an international phone call. Pamoja, salsa. Are you all ready? Yes. First three. Ready, go. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Everyone. Kila moja wenu. These wise men came to King Herod and said, Hao mama juzi walimujia Herod na kusema, King, King, King. Eh mfalme, mfalme. You know, right now we came here Sasa hivi tumekuja mali hapa. To see the king of the Jews. Kumuona mfalme wa Yahudi. Have ever seen the king of the Jews? Jem, ayo na mfalme wa Yahudi. Everyone, do you remember the Christmas cantata? Jem, na kuhusu kuhusu tukio ya Christmas cantata? Do you know King Herod was? Jem, mejua mfalme Herod alikuwa ni? Do you know who he was? Jema jua ni nani? Is the brother Tobias, right? Alikuwa ni ndugu Tobias hivyo. King of the Jews. Falme wa Wayahudi. And then do you remember do you remember him ripping off the paper, right? Ah, mnamkumbuka kirarua makaratasi. Boom. Boom. Yes. Right now King Herod is with us. Sasa hivi mfalme Herod yu pamoja nasi. But this king is humble enough to sit down over there to listen to the word. Kini huu mfalme amejinyenyekeza kiasi kwamba amekaa sikize neno. Anyways King Herod he was so angry. Hata hivyo mfalme Herod alikuwa amegadhabika. Everyone he was troubled. Alikuwa amesumbuka. Everyone why was he troubled? Bona akasumbuka. Because in one country katika nchi moja there should be only one king isn't it? Kuna style kuwa na mfalme moja tu peke yake sivyo. But right now this wise man come unto them. Lakini sasa hivi mama juzi wamemjia. Where is the king of the Jews? Uyuko wapi mfalme wa Yahudi? We follow the star. Tumefuata nyota yake. The star that represents the birth of the king of the Jews. Na ile nyota inaashiria kuzaliwa kwake mfalme. We came all the way from the east to see the king of the Jews. Tumetoka huko kote mashariki kumuona mfalme wa Yahudi. No king Herod he was so troubled. Na sasa hivi mfalme alisumbuka. What? Nini? King of the Jews? Mfalme wa Yahudi? I am the king of the Jews. Mimi ndiye mfalme wa Yahudi. Who else is the king of the Jews? Ni nani tena aliye mfalme wa Yahudi? Then that person is going to grow up and going to kill me. Basi huyo mtu anaenda kukua na kisha ni uwe. Before he kills me. Kabla aniue mimi. I should kill that baby. Nataka ni muue huyo mtoto. I am the king of the Jews. Mimi ndiye mfalme wa Yahudi. In that way his heart was so troubled. Katika hiyo njia moyo wake ikasumbuka zaidi. Mbona? Because in a country katika inchi, there can be only one king. Kuna staili kwa tu na mfalme mmoja. But now here that there's another king. Lakini hapa anasikiza kwa kuna kuna mfalme mwingine. But not only King Herod. Sio tu mfalme wa Yesus. Oh Jerusalem with him. Na ikasemekana Yerusalem Yerusalemu pia pamoja naye. Even oh Jerusalem. Hata pia Yerusalemu. Jerusalem they were also troubled as well. Watu wa Yerusalemu pia walisumbuka. What does that mean? What does that mean? Inamaanisha nini? It means Inamaanisha even in all Jerusalem. Ah Yerusalemu yote. Everybody. Kila moja. They also have There are own king inside of their heart. Wanao mfalme wao binafsi katika mioyo yao. So King Herod he was so you know surprised. Kwa hivyo mfalme Herod akashangazwa. And even the people in Jerusalem they were so surprised. Hata watu wa Yerusalemu pia wakashangazwa. Because they all have their own king inside of them. Kwa sababu wanao mfalme wao ndani ya mioyo yao. You know that time you know brother I forgot his name. Anyways, the King Herod. Hata hivyo mfalme Herod. He was so angry. Alikadha bika sana. What? Nini? King of the Jews. Mfalme wa Yahudi. I am the king of the Jews. Mimi ndiye mfalme wa Yahudi. Everyone, what is this talking about? Inanena kuhusu nini? Right now is this trying to talk about the king of Israel? Je, sasa inaongea kuhusu mfalme wa Israeli? It is trying to talk about Inaongea kuhusu the king in our heart. Inaongea kuhusu mfalme ndani ya mioyo yetu. Everyone who is the king in your heart? Ni nani aliye mfalme ndani ya moyo wako? Every king Herod represents on the flesh. Mfalme Herod anawashiria anawashiria mwili. King Herod represents I myself. Na mfalme Herod anawakilisha mimi mwenyewe. Every in a country katika inchi there are those people whereby I myself is the king. Hakuna watu ambao mimi mwenyewe ndio mfalme everyone 
Who, how do you live your life? Kila moja wenu mnaishiji maisha yenu. You live your life for listening to the word of the king, isn't it? Mnastahili kuishi maisha yenu mkisikiza tu neno la mfalme sivyo. If the king says to stand up, you have to stand up. Ikiwa mfalme atasema inuka juu basi utasimama. If the king says to sit down, then you got to sit down. Ikiwa mfalme atasema uketi basi utakaa. Even the word of the king is an absolute. Na neno la mfalme ni hakika. But now Who is that the king inside of your heart? Basi ni nani aliye mfalme ndani ya moyo wako? Is Jesus really the king in your heart? Je, ni Yesu aliye mfalme ndani ya moyo wako? If Jesus is truly the king in your heart, ikiwa Yesu ndio mfalme ndani ya moyo wako kwa ukweli, then you should to only listen and obey to the word of the king Jesus. Basi unastahili kusikiza na kutii neno la mfalme Yesu. But although Jesus is born as a king, ijapokuwa Yesu amezaliwa kama mfalme, not that many people establish Jesus as the king. Asi watu wengi wanaomtambua Yesu kama mfalme. Many people, watu wengi. Often times, mara nyingi, they establish I myself as the king in my heart. Wanajisimamisha wao wenyewe kama mfalme ndani ya mioyo yao. That's why when the word of Jesus doesn't make sense, deposa neno la Yesu haileti maana. You listen to your own words. Unasikiza tu neno lako mwenyewe. You listen to your own ways. Unafuata njia yako mwenyewe. Even God he wants to establish only Jesus as the king in our heart. Ye, Mungu anataka kumsimamisha Yesu kama mfalme ndani ya mioyo yetu. God wants to establish only the Bible as the king in our heart. Na Mungu anataka kusimamisha Biblia tu peke yake kama mfalme ndani ya mioyo yetu. But on the other hand, lakini upande mwingine, Satan also exalted our heart. Shetani anainua mioyo yetu. Exalted our heart in a which way? Anainua mioyo yetu kwa njia gani? To exalt our heart An- above the word of God. Anainua mioyo yetu zaidi ya neno la Mungu. Exalt our heart above the king Jesus. Anainua mioyo yetu zaidi ya neno la mfalme Yesu. Exalt our heart even above the voice of the church. Anainua mioyo yetu zaidi ya neno la mfalme Yesu. Exalt our heart Heart, even above the voice of the servant of God. Anainua mioyo yetu zaidi ya sauti ya mtumishi wa Mungu. Everyone this time Pastor Parky came. Wakati huu mchungaji Park alikuja. And then he gave us a lot of blessings upon this country. Akatupatia baraka nyingi katika hii nchi yetu. In the beginning he said, Mwanzo akasema, By gospel, kupitia kwa injili, Kenya will be the world the best country. Kenya itakuwa nchi bora ulimwenguni. Five minutes later, dakika tano baadaye, Kenya is the best country. Nchi ya Kenya ni nchi bora ulimwenguni kote. Everyone do you remember the time? Je, unakumbuka ni muda gani? Everyone, Kenya, kila moja wenu Kenya is the best country. Ni nchi iliyo bora. The moment the word comes. Mradi wakati neno inapoingia. Kenya is the best country not because there is a good structure. Ah Kenya si nchi bora sababu kuna mambo mengi. Kenya is the best country not because of development. Ah Kenya si nchi nzuri sababu ya maendeleo. Kenya is the best country not because the GDP went up. Ah si ati nchi ya Kenya imekuwa bora sababu ya The moment the word of the servant of God comes, Kenya is the best country. Wakati ambapo mtumishi alisema kwa ni bora ilikuwa bora. Everyone, that is that the life of establishing a servant of God as the king in our hearts. Hiyo ndio namna ya kusimamisha mtumishi wa Mungu kama mfalme ndani ya mioyo yetu. Everyone, that is the posture of the heart of establishing the Bible, the word of God as the king in our hearts. Na hiyo ndio mkao wa kudhibitisha na kusimamisha neno la Mungu ndani yetu. He taught us. Alituambia. He gave us a guidance. Akatupea muongozo. In the year 2019. Ha, mwaka 2019. How we should live our life. Jinsi ambavyo tunastahili kuishi maisha yetu. He said, akasema, Live for Jesus more than yourself. Uishie Yesu zaidi yako wewe mwenyewe. Live for church more than your family. Uishie kanisa zaidi yako wewe uh, familia Live yako. Live for gospel more than your business. Uishie injili zaidi ya biashara yako. When you listen to this word, unapolisikiza hili neno. The word of servant of God doesn't make sense. Ah neno la mtumishi wa Mungu haileti maana. Hey, how can I live for Jesus more than myself? Nitawezaje kuishi Yesu zaidi ya mimi mwenyewe? I have to first live for myself so that I can also live for Jesus. Nastahili kujiishia kwanza mwenyewe Even it is because so you are the king. Kwa sababu wewe ni mfalme. He said live for church more than your family. Anasema aishi kanisa zaidi ya familia yako. Hey, family is first. Ah kwanza familia yangu. How can I say church first than my family? Nitasemaje kanisa kwanza hey, mbele ya kanisa la familia yangu? Hey that is too much. Ah hiyo sasa ni zaidi. Even that is a person who is following your own wise ways. Ah huyu ni mtu ambaye anafuata njia zake za busara. He says live for gospel more than business. Uishi biashara Injili zaidi ya biashara yako. How can I live for for uh, uh, gos, uh, for gospel more than my business? Nitazaje kuishia injili zaidi ya biashara yangu? 
How can I live for gospel more than my business? That is a nonsense. Everyone according to your wise thoughts. It is a nonsense. Can you, can you give me more volume on the, these two speakers? <laughs> Everyone, is that right? Everyone, do you understand what I'm talking about? Everyone, you got to know one thing. Following your wise ways is so only death. Even what is the Bible saying? Now God, he wants to establish the king inside of your heart. God, he wants to establish Jesus as the king in your heart. Now, God, he wants to establish the word of the Bible as the king in your heart. Whom have you established in your heart? Now, king, uh, in, in the land of Judah, now, King Herod was the king. And also people in Jerusalem, they were also troubled. Why? Because they had a different king established in their heart. Yes, so they did not want to establish Jesus as the king in their heart. While the king is there, Jesus cannot be the king. That's why God he has told them in verse 15 and it was there until the death of Herod and that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying out of Egypt I called my son. Now King Herod wanted to kill the children's. So God has told them to go to the land of Egypt and stay there. He could not stay in Israel. He could not stay in Jerusalem. Why could he not stay in Jerusalem? Why he could not stay stay in Israel. Because in Israel, in Jerusalem, there is another king. Even while you are the king of your heart, while you are the king of your life, the word of Reverend Oxford Park can never be the king of your life. You may seem like you are receiving his word, but his word cannot really work inside of your life. Because you are the king. Because you think your word is more wiser than the word of the servant of God. Everyone, I hope all the, in the heart of all of our Nairobi church brothers and sisters, I pray that the word of the servant Servant of God, Reverend Oxo Park, his word can be the king inside of your heart. Your thoughts are different from his words. Your ways are different from his, his words. He said, Live for Jesus more than yourself. Live for church more than your family. Live for gospel more than business. And if you can receive his word, the way it is in your heart. Everyone coming to church on time is not a problem. Even our Sunday service starts at 10 a.m. People, they come at 10. People, they come at 10.05. People, they come at 10.10. They think it's okay. It's not okay. Service starts at 10. We are doing service and not before Man. This is a service time whereby you come before God. But how lightly do you take that you go to work on time but you don't come to service on time? That is not the heart of establishing 
uh, the servant of God as a king in your heart. If you establish the servant of God, Reverend Oxo Park, in your heart, even five minutes you cannot come late. Even ten minutes you cannot accept that in your life. You go to work on time, right? But what about church? You cannot come on time. Why? Because I am the king of my heart. Everyone, don't try to set Reverend Osapart, the servant of God, as a king in my heart from a big thing. Set the servant of God as a king in your heart from the small things. Starting from coming to service on time. Giving offering before God. Attending meetings. Reading the Bible. Praying before God. Setting small, small things. Setting a reverend of support, the servant of God, uh, setting the church, setting the word of God as the king in our life. Why can you come late? How can you dare come to service late before God? Because I am established as a king in my heart. That's why coming too late to church five minutes is okay for you. That's why coming to church late ten minutes is okay for you. For me it's not okay. I believe. You have to come to church even 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes ahead of time. To remember him. To think about him. To prepare our hearts. I don't know. That's how I was taught. From Reverend Oxupark. How is it in your heart? Don't try to establish the word of God as a king in your heart from the big works. I hope through this word all of you can have an opportunity to look back in your heart. Am I really the one who is setting the servant of God in my heart as a king? Or am I the king? And following my own wise way, following my own wise thoughts. Oh, you can clearly think about this in your heart. Even because God is not set as a king in our heart. Because we don't set Jesus as a king in our heart. That's why although we don't give tithe, although we don't give offering, yes, although, although we skip a service, although you know, we skip a meeting, you don't have any problem in your heart. Yes, so that is called leprosy. Now losing sense, being senseless, about the heart of God. While the King Herod is the king, Jesus cannot stay in Jerusalem as a king. That's why he moved out to Egypt until when? Verse 19. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child, life are dead. Verse 21, Then he arose, took, uh, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. So here, right now, the Herod is dead. Verse 19, when Herod, is, when Herod was dead. Now when Herod is dead, now once again, Jesus, he was able to return. Now Jesus, he returns as a king. Everyone, it is very important for us to kill Herod in our hearts. Realizing that if I follow Lord Herod, if I establish I myself as a king in my heart, then the end result of my life cannot help but be death. Now God is looking for such people who can set Jesus as a king of our hearts. Let us open to the book of Acts chapter 13, 22. You hold on to this. Uh, to Shikile, you know, Andiko. 
We know this word very well. <laughs> Acts 13. 22. Yes, and when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, unto whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Here it says, I have found David, the son of Jesse. A man after my own heart. Who will do all my will. <coughs> even, even today. <coughs> even, even today. <coughs> this day in the year 2019, the 20th of January. God is searching for those people who is after his own heart. Everyone who is the one who is after his own heart. The one who is able to set Jesus as the king in our heart. Though the guidance of Jesus may be different from my own wise ways. Though the guidance of the king may be different from my own wise thoughts. If the king leads me that way. Those who, who can, can throw away their right thoughts and wise ways ways and follow. That was David. God is searching for such people. Amen after my own heart. God is searching for those people who have set the word of God as a king in our life. God is searching for those people who have set the servant of God in our heart. God is searching for those people who have established a church in our heart. What about First Samuel chapter 15. Samuel kwanza mlango 15. God told the king Saul. In verse 3. Now go and attack Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them. But kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep and camel and donkey. God is said, utterly destroy all things. Even the child. Even the small things. Even the, all the cattle and animals. Everyone, what does that mean? God, he wants to completely destroy Herod the king. I inside of me. God wants to destroy, utterly destroy everything that is of Johann. Destroy everything of Johann. The good Johann, wise Johann, smart Johann, foolish Johann, bad Johann, criminal Johann. God he wants to destroy everything of Johan. And now he wants to establish Jesus as a king. Everyone, what about your heart? Is everything utterly destroyed? But look at King Saul. He did not utterly destroy everything. Verse 9. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best. And what? Nanini? And the best of the sheep, the oxen, the fatling, the lambs, and all that was good. And were unwillingly utterly destroyed them, but everything despised and worthless, and that they utterly destroyed. Heaven, it is very easily for you to destroy what is bad. It says, but everything despised and worthless. And they utterly destroyed. Everyone, what seems evil in your heart, you can destroy it. What seems, uh, what is the dirty in your eyes, you can destroy it. But the, the problem is, you cannot destroy what is a good thing. From Johann. So, so what did he do? He spared Agag and the best. And all that was good. God, he wants even what is best and all that is 
good from your hand to be destroyed. Na Mungu anataka kila kitu kilicho kizuri kiweze kuharibiwa. But you don't destroy it. Lakini hauharibu. Because it looks wise. Kwa sababu inaonekana ni busara. Because it looks best. Kwa sababu inaonekana ni sawa. Because it looks good. Kwa sababu inaonekana ni vizuri. Every repeat after me utterly destroy everything. Even today, kila moja wenu leo, through the word of God, I hope you can destroy everything of you. Natumai waribu kila kitu chako. What is of wise? Kitu kinacho onekana ni busara. What is the best? Kitu kinacho onekana ni bora. What is good? Kitu kinacho onekana ni mzuri. And just establish the word of God as a king in your heart. Na usimamishe neno la Mungu kama mfalme ndani ya moyo wako. Fifteen. Mstari wa 15. And so said, and they have brought them from the Amalekites. For the people spared the best of the sheep and the oxen and sacrificed to the Lord your God and the rest I have utterly destroyed. See, he utterly destroyed the rest. But what he has saved was best. You also have the best from you, right? Yes, so what is good from you, right? Yes, that best. Hiyo kitu kizuri. That good must be destroyed. Hicho kitu kibora ni lazima yaribiwe. So that Jesus can be born in you as the king. Ili kwamba Yesu aweze kuzaliwa ndani yako kama mfalme. 19. Mstari wa 19. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Why did you swoop down on the spoil and do evil in the sight of the Lord? Everyone says evil. Ovu. Evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh, ovu he has done evil. Ovu. What is evil? Kitu kiovu. To spare what is the best. Vitu to spare sawa. what is good. Vitu bora. That is evil. Ayo ni kitu kiovu. Everyone today through the word. Uh, kila moja wenu weka neno. Everyone repeat after me. Today. Today. <coughs> Don't make international phone call. Today. Today. Utterly destroy everything. The best, the good, the wise from me. Utterly destroy. Do you understand? Naelewa. Then, Kisha, Jesus, Yesu, can be born in our heart yetu, as the king. Kama mfalme. The life, Yo maisha, me being a king. Jesus being a king. Na Yesu kwa mfalme. Uncomparable. Haiwezi kulinganishwa. Me, mimi, I cannot live this life. Siwezi nikaishi haya maisha. I cannot live this life. Siwezi nikaishi maisha hii. I am a person who will be so blessed if I clean the toilet. Mimi ni mtu ambaye nitabarikiwa nitakapoosha vyo. I'll be so honored. Nitakuwa nimeheshimiwa for that work. Kwa ajili ya kazi kama hicho. But I don't know why why God has given me this job of speaking the word of God on this podium. Everyone the life. Kila moja wenu maisha kama hii. When Herod is the king of your life. Ambapo Herode ni mfalme katika maisha yako. When Jesus is the king of your life. Ambapo Yesu ni mfalme katika maisha yako. The life is truly truly uncomparable. Maisha kama hayo ukweli ni haiwezi kulinganishwa. What is evil in the eyes of the Lord? Kitu kilicho kiovu machoni pa Mungu. 19. Mstari wa 19. Why did you swoop down and do spoils and do evil in the sight of the Lord? Evil in the sight of the Lord. Ovu machoni pa Bwana. What is evil in the sight of the Lord? Ovu macho kitu gani kilicho kiovu machoni pa Bwana? What is evil in the sight of the Lord? Kitu gani kilicho kiovu machoni pa Bwana? What is evil that causes in you right now? Nani kitu gani kiovu ambao Mungu anakiona macho ndani What is that evil that God he sees in you? Ni kitu gani kiovu ambao Mungu anakiona ndani yako? What he saw in verse 19 as evil in the sight of the Lord. Kitu alichokiona kiovu katika macho ya Mungu. Sparing what is good. Akuacha wacha vitu ambavyo vinaonekana kwa mzuri. Kitu ambayo inaonekana ni sawa. In your eyes. Ndani uh, macho ni pako. Even that wise. Hata hicho kitu kilicho uh, ya busara. Even that good. Hata hicho kitu kizuri. Even that's uh, Uh, best has to be utterly destroyed. Satan he deceives us. Shetani anatuhada with what is good. Na kitu kilicho kizuri. Because it's good he makes you to follow you. Kwa sababu ni kizuri anafanya uweze kukufuata. Because it's good you follow. Kwa sababu ni kizuri unakifuata. Everyone sindio? 
Because it's good you follow. Kwa sababu ni kizuri unakifuata. Instead of receiving the guidance of the star. Na badala ya kufuata mwongozo wa nyota. And Jesus can be the king in your heart. Na Yesu kukuwa mfalme ndani ya moyo wako. Jesus wants to be born as a king in your heart. Yesu anataka kuzaliwa ndani ya ndani ya moyo wako kama mfalme. Matthew 2 verse 11. Mathayo mlango wa pili mstari wa 11. And when they had come into the house so they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented a gift to him gold frankincense and myrrh God Jesus he wants to be born as a gold in your heart Yesu anataka kuzaliwa kama mfalme ndani ya moyo wako Jesus wants to be born as a frankincense Ah Mungu Yesu anataka kuzaliwa kama dhahabu na manemane Jesus he wants to be born as myrrh in your heart Yesu anataka kuzaliwa kama ovumba katika moyo wako What does it mean and by gold Ah kitu gani kina maana ya dhahabu ni nini Jesus wants to be gold in your life Yesu anataka kuwa dhahabu katika maisha yako Gold is talking about Jesus so who is born as a king. Ah uh, dhahabu inaongea kuhusu Yesu aliyezaliwa kama mfalme. Gold means king. Na dhahabu inamaanisha mfalme. Jesus also wants to be and the frankincense. Na Yesu anataka kuwa uvumba. Jesus is talking about Jesus so who was born as a priest. Na hii inaongea kuhusu Yesu aliyezaliwa kama kuhani. Because the frankincense was used by the uh, by the priests. Kwa sababu vumba ilitumiwa na makuhani. Jesus wants to be born in your heart as a priest. Na Yesu anataka kuzaliwa ndani yako kama kuhani. Jesus wants to be born in your heart as a frankincense. Yesu anataka kuzaliwa ndani yako kama uvumba. What is the job of the priests? Kazi ya kuhani ni gani? Being a mediator between you and God. Kuwa mpatanishi kati yako na Mungu. Doing the work of washing your sin and becoming a mediator between the relationship between you and God. Kufanya kazi ya kuziosha dhambi zako na kuwa mpatanishi kati yako na Mungu. Jesus wants to be born in your heart as myrrh. Na Yesu anataka kuzaliwa ndani yako kama manemane. Myrrh is bitter and sour. Manemane ni chungu na ni, ni chungu. Myrrh it means a messiah. Na ma, uh, manemane inamaanisha messiah. Messiah in Hebrew it means the one who is so anointed. Ana uh, uh, manemane uh, messiah anamaanisha mtu aliyetiwa yes, mafuta. Jesus he wants to be born in your life as a myrrh. Na kama vile Yesu anavyotaka kuzaliwa katika maisha yako messiah. kama uh, manemane ambaye ni messiah. Who is the savior. Ambaye ni mwokozi. Jesus uh, his name means to save his people from their sin. Akazi uh, jina la Yesu ni kuokoa watu wake kutokana na dhambi zao. If Jesus is the savior. Ikiwa Yesu ni mwokozi. Jesus can only save those of people who are in sin. Ah uh, Yesu anaweza tu kuokoa wale watu ambao wako ndani ya dhambi. Yes, uh, Jesus is not only a savior. Yesu of sin. Yesu si mwokozi tu wa dhambi. Jesus also wants to be the savior of our difficulties and problems. Yesu anataka kuwa mwokozi pia ya magumu yetu na shida zetu. Yes, so how can Jesus be a savior? Ah Yesu atawezaje kuwa mwokozi? Jesus can only be a savior to you. Yesu anaweza kuwa tu mwokozi kwako. When you are drowning in sin. Wakati ambao unaelea katika dhambi. Although you are a sinner. Japo kwa ni mwenye dhambi. If you are not drowning in sin then he cannot be your savior. Ikiwa haujakuwa ndani ya dhambi hawezi kukuokoa. He just wants to be a savior of your problems. Yesu anataka kukuwa mwokozi wa Although you have problems. Japo kwa unao shida. If you are not drowning in problem then he cannot be your savior. Ikiwa haujashikwa katika shida hizo. He just wants to be a savior for your sadness. Yesu anataka kukuokoa kutokana na But if you although you have sadness. Japo kwa uko na uzuni. If you are not drowning in sadness then he cannot be your Ikiwa haujakwama katika uzuni zako hawezi kukuokoa. Jesus ye. wants to be born in your life. Yesu anataka kuzaliwa katika maisha yako. As gold, frankincense and myrrh. Kama dhahabu, vumba na manemane. The king, priest and messiah. Mfalme, uh, kuhani na hata messiah. I hope you can meditate that upon your heart. Natumai uweze kutafakari hili ndani ya moyo wako. Let us pray and close our eyes. Tuombe huku tukiwa tumefunga macho yetu. Think about this before God. Fikiria hivi kuhusu mbele za Mungu. God am I the one who have said Jesus as a king in my heart. Mungu je mimi ni yule ambaye nilimweka Yesu kama mfalme ndani ya moyo wangu. Has Jesus really come in my heart as a king? Je Yesu anakuja ndani ya maisha yangu kama mfalme? Or am I the king? 
ama mimi mwenyewe ndiye mfalme as you think about that let us pray before god all together oh napofikiria hivyo tuombe mbele ya mungu pamoja Heavenly Father God, we are the people who cannot help but live I myself as the king. But you blessed our life and you have given us Matthew chapter 2 so that we can reflect and see ourselves who is living our life, sitting I myself as the king and how that life is only a misery. Lord, not tomorrow, not one month later, but today I said in my heart, Jesus, as the king, as the priest, as uh, also the Messiah, who is the savior from all of my problems, Lord. Lord, lead us, guide us, and help us. Bless our Narobi church brothers and sisters so that we can set Jesus as the savior in our hearts. We thank you, Lord. We praise your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray it. Amen.